Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how you can use the Auto AI experiment using IBM Watson Studio. So this is your project window. We will click on Add to Project. Choose the Auto AI experiment. There are two options. You can create your own and you can choose the sample one as well. So we will prefer from sample. Choose it. Here you need to associate the Watson machine learning service instance. So you can click on this. It will show you two tabs, the existing services and new services. If you want, you can choose the new services plan from here. This is a free one. And if you want to use the already existing one, you can choose from the list. So I would like to choose from here, then select. Just refresh it. Now it associate your service with your first experiment, auto AI experiment data. Now just click on the create button. After clicking on the create button, it will create your first window for the auto AI experiment related to your bank marketing data. So this data is a sample of the phone calling for the marketing campaign between the bank and the customer. It is creating your first project using auto AI experiment. Here you can see the summary, like the bank marketing sample and here you can drop the your dataset file if you want. And like we are using the existing sample, so your data file is already uploaded there. So it grab your prediction column as well. This is your binary classification. This means which type of algorithm you are going to apply. And this is your positive class. This means this is a yes. An optimized metric is uh, to measure the evaluation of the model using the ROC and AUC. So this is work based on your precision call. So we will run the experiment. After clicking on the run experiment, it will start creating your uh, first the analysis of the data set. It will start reading your data set using auto AI experiment. So here you can see it started. It's reading your all data this is your swap window if you will click on this you can see the whole pipeline it's reading the data set your split holdout then it's uh, dividing it into the two parts and then training set pre-processing model selection and selected the algorithm after that it is uh, uh, using the hyper parameters for the optimization and it is also performing the feature engineering if you look at this part we will make it a smaller again. Swap the view. So this will show you the everything. Right now it's a working and the below you will be able to see the pipeline leaderboard. Right now when uh, it will take time. So once it's completed, it will look like this way. This one. Now it's uh, still in a process. Uh, here it is showing your relationship map prediction column. This is your training data set 90% three folds and then 10% holdout data. Holdout data means your new data because it divided your data set into two parts legend. One is your training data. Another is your holdout for your testing. So this is showing your top, your top algorithms and this is showing your ROC AUC. It is selecting your hyper parameters for the model evaluation and this is your feature transformation and this is a pipeline it will be updated as soon as it start working so right now it is showing the feature engineering part it is using lgbm classify method algorithm started feature engineering for pipeline p7 right so it will show you the time as well and if we go here like the pipeline comparison you can see the pipeline comparison here suppose your model name is p1 then how much accuracy is there how it is connected is if i hover on this like this way see it is showing everything like this one this is a model name how much accuracy it is this your log loss f1 score average precision everything is visible so this is a, a pipeline comparison if you look at it the below table you can see the name of the pipeline. If you want to see in a detail, you can click on this. It is showing 
the summary of a like holdout roc auc 91% accuracy and algorithm is used the gradient boosting classifier and this is the enhancement and build time is this one so it is doing the model evaluation c 91% so if we will scroll down here you can see the graph as well right and this is your confusion matrix confusion matrix in uh, we use it is for the classific uh, for the model evaluation in case of your classification algorithm how your model is working correctly so if you say it diagonally your positive cases in case of like this one correct percentage of this one is your 97.5% and 28.8% of your yes one so your total percentage of correct one is this and wrong one or is this this is your total percentage so this will say with the colors the 37 records are your less correct and more correct uh, result is with this color so this is your confusion matrix table and if you want to see your precision call curve you can see like this way it is coming on the top one right so this means this is your correct answers list. Your model is working correctly. How much the percentage of this one? Like this way. Right. It's just showing every value. Your recall and precision value. So now if you want to get the more information about your model. This is your target variable is Y. Model type is gradient boosting. And number of features are 31. This is giving you the detail of your given data set. And now this is a feature transformation information. This is new features. And also saying the transformation. Transformation means to which using it get the transform the data before fitting into the model. So after that this is your feature importance. How important the feature is. Like your new feature is 18% important. And this is your 15. This is your month's outcome. Everything is there. This way you can use your auto AI experiment using IBM Watson Studio. You do not need to worry about anything. You only need to pass your dataset file. Rest of the things will be done and chosen by your IBM Watson Studio uh, auto AI experiment.